Today I'm going to be reacting to a player called Ray Lewis. This video is called Ray Lewis the Greatest. Uh, this is from a channel called Joseph Vincent and on that channel there's like many other videos and documentaries about different sports people from the USA. Uh, so I think that's quite a popular channel so recommend what your favourite video from that channel is. Uh, I'll maybe check that out soon but Ray Lewis I googled. I had seen his name mentioned in the comments before. Looks like he was a linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens for his whole career I think so tell me your memories of Ray what was he like as a player this is called the greatest so I don't know if this is like the greatest Ravens player the greatest linebacker what that means but let's check this out uh, and we'll find out I guess well highly requested a lot of people asked for him on my There's channel a lot too. of leaders in football good leaders guys that have an impact and you hear them and you hear their message Ray Lewis you feel him. Oftentimes the Ravens are rushing three men. This is a hard knock. Oh my god, he nearly broke that guy's spine. The master of disaster, 15 years he's been lighting people up. That guy's spine just like went wobbly. wobbly. I think that's the greatest impact he's had. But of all you know is, I've never met a man in my life that I flat out I hope. Big time. You don't see the bus go backwards like that very often. Jeez. And the guy he took down was huge as well. That was like a lion taking down his prey. And as I said, the guy he took down was huge. Oh, he's intense. Ray Lewis, it's either a big hit. Post ball! Picked up by the Raven! A turnover in the red zone, like Mike just mentioned. He is still down, and he gets. He, like, he's obviously started. willing to put his body on the line. Let's see. And he get hit. This is what we started. If we're trying to be the best in history, the world is watching right now. We don't get respect, all you see, we don't get a deal with nobody to think. From Miami, number 52, Ray. Looks like an absolute monster. I've seen team after team stand on the side, mesmerized at Ray Lewis coming at him. And I've said before, I think Ray is the all-time greatest middle linebacker in the history of the game. Well, the greatest Ray linebacker Lewis, is that true? As great as he is as a leader, he's also that great in terms of football instincts. The Super Bowl 35 is underway. The deep man in the backfield behind Kerry Collins on first and five. Collins to throw. Over the middle, popped in the air. It is incomplete. That intercepted. Intercepted by the and ability to size up a situation and actually see it before it happens. See that intensity there? Oh. I mean, look at that anticipation to make that block. Got the interception there. Don't tell me that I can't do certain things to me. Listen to that singing man, it's almost creepy. Snap moves like look, they've been knocked the first down. Look at this speed of them. A guy that size should not be moving at that speed. He's like a like a truck man, a lorry moving at high speed. Look at this. And he's all he's got in his mind there is to take this guy out. And he does that. Because when I answer this Super Bowl game, MVP, I've done. Well, how how common is it for a defensive player to be the MVP of a Super Bowl? I would imagine, from my la my basic understanding, that might be quite uncommon. But what I can see, they're talking about the greatest linebacker and a great leader, as it mentioned at the beginning. What I can see is him as a player. Like I hear hear what he's saying there. Like he's obviously a very intense and motivating guy. But you see how he's the sort of player that not only does he lead with how he acts, he leads by example, man. Just throwing his body on the line. Not even just throwing his body on the line, like just all over the place. He's, if he's making things so precisely, those tackles. He's doing it with thunder, man, and like power. Just taking the opposition out. 
an exciting player. I mean, very rarely do you see defensive players who are so exciting to watch. And that's just the mark. So he won the Super Bowl as well then, obviously. I mean, that opposition player got straight back up. I've got to give him some respect for that, man. I would be knocked out for about three years if I got taken out by him. Everything that starts has an end. Just like, and for me, you know, today, I told my team that this would be my last ride. It is a high emotion day as the playoffs get underway today. His Ray last, Lewis. was his last the match the Super Bowl? The beginning of the end for Ray Lewis. The Ravens future Hall of Fame linebacker will retire following this postseason. And that makes this his final home game as a Baltimore Ravens. He, he was impossible to block, and I think the intimidation factor that he that he presented before the game was started, he had a game one. Mm -hmm. defensive player of the year, linebacker, number 52, Ray but I think that if he got to a Super Bowl and won a Super Bowl at, at this point, he would become one of the, the, the seminal NFL favorites. Yeah, I mean, the story of ending to Ray Lewis winning a Super Bowl, going, you know, calling his shot in terms of what he's going out, that would be huge. There's very few players in this league that'll make you get off the bench and watch them play, and Ray was one of those guys. Look at him, look at him, I don't know why, man, it's just... He looks, yeah, man, so intimidating as well, man. I guess that's what's important for a defensive player in the NFL, in American football, man, to have that intimidation factor. They're talking about teams feeling as if they lost before they stepped on the field. Can you imagine coming up against him as an attacking player, man? You'll be like, I hope he's not marking me. If he is... My body is about to be shattered. But tell me if you're a Ravens fan, what was it like to have him on your side? Uh, that was 17 years. He inspired his teammate. He inspired the guys that played against him. He is an, he's an inspiration. Viewers at home, we have a power outage here at the Superdome. The 49ers Super Bowl will come down to fourth down. Against the 49ers, so Baltimore are up fourth, one minute 50 to go, fourth quarter. Oh. So, with his last match, they won the Super Bowl, last match ever to end his career. That's a fairy tale, man. What a way to end a career. I, I think the guy's the best linebacker I've ever played against. I think he wants to challenge, to charge, and inspire, and encourage. That's what motivates him. Hey, it's a man's game tonight now, you know He's that. He's the most charismatic <laughs> football player any of us have ever seen. You name it, in an NFL career, Ray Lewis has done it. Well, this stood up. That's the win championship. We get one opportunity in life. To lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make. Whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy. Gee, oh my. Figuring he has nothing to lose. McAllister coming down the sideline. And McAllister is going to go His block there was important. Ray Lewis through a block as well. That's a, a His block was not only a block, it like literally annihilated the opposition player. It's like the, ferocity, the ferociousness, ferocity, man, of the way he makes blocks and tackles. Look at that. Hunting down his prey, man. Look at him, man. He just sees him. Pushing other players out of the way just to take him out. He has that strength. He has that athleticism. He has that speed. And he was flat out a tackling machine. He's an absolute menace. 
man. Just one more time, man. The moment of impact. Boom. That's whiplash right there. Like, I mean, that guy still looks conscious, but not for long. Look. Jeez. Now, that is... That is what I want to see from a defensive player in any sport, man. Absolute power. The leadership there, man, is the main thing. What an absolute all-round amazing leader. You can see he's just an inspirational figure with the, with the way he plays, but when you hear him talk there to his teammates, you see the passion that he has there, man. How could you not be inspired by that? So tell me if you're a Ravens fan, what's your memories of him? Even if you're a fan of an opposition team, what's your memories of him? Did you hate coming up against him? I can't say more. The greatest linebacker. There you go. Thanks.